Hi folks, today I'd like to share a quick demo on how to use the new Apple App Store integration in GitLab to automate your releases to test flight and the App Store. To get started, go to the integration section under the project settings, and here you'll see an option to add the Apple App Store integration to your project. Click on that, and when the page loads, you'll see the inputs for the credentials needed to configure the integration. These credentials can be obtained from App Store Connect. In App Store Connect, Go to the Keys section under Users and Access to generate a new access key. Once the key is generated, you'll need the issuer ID, key ID, and key file to configure the integration. Back on the integration page, Copy and paste over the values for issuer ID and key ID, and drag the key file to upload. With all the information entered, we can verify that everything works by clicking the Test Settings button. Looks like everything worked, so we can go ahead and click Save Changes. With the integration enabled, these three variables are added to our CI pipelines. These are protected variables, so they will only be added to pipelines running on protected branches or tags. The CI variables added by this integration are designed to work out of the box with Fastlane. Specifically, they're designed to be able to activate the App Store Connect API key action with minimal configuration. The example here shows how the connection can be made with just a couple lines in the Fast file. Of course, these are environment variables, so they can be utilized by custom tooling as well. Once the App Store Connect API key has been added to the Fast file, all future requests will use that session. So uploading a build to test flight is as simple as calling the upload to test flight action. That's all for today. See the video description below for links to the integration and fast lane docs, as well as a sample project. Thanks for watching.